I've come today to tune a Beckstein upright. Well, in actual fact, I came two days ago and the job has been so horrible that I've had to spend a couple of days here. Dear, oh dear. The reason why it's been horrible is because Beckstein have used these funny agraphs, they're known as agraphs, through which the these strings go and you can see the strings go through one hole and then they get pushed over a bar so there's double friction here and this makes tuning the instrument very difficult. If an owner of one of these high quality Beckersteins, this is a, a Model 3, allows the instrument to go below pitch we've got to raise it to 440. Now, now Now, if we, if we allow this to go down, um, if the tuning plank is new, it's stiff. There's friction on these points here. And so pulling this up is interesting. And as soon as I let go the lever, you can see that goes down again and uh, it's essential to um, use the lever in this upright position so that the pin wobble is side to side and not like that. If it's like that it's going to wobble the pin that way and with this extra friction this will be critical in not giving the proper pitch to the string. So this string is now sharp. Now I've discovered uh, uh, in America a, a what's known as an impacts lever is usual and I don't use an impacts technique. The impacts technique is a tap. So when we go backwards so you can so when we tap that we can get it to go up a bit and to get that to get down into pitch, instead of using force on the lever, we'll tap it. And that gives a much more reliable result. So if I get that slightly above, done it too much. We can then tap that into position and working on the Beckstein, this tap technique with the lever at 12 o'clock is the way to deal with it. But of course, you can't do that when you're pitch raising. So pitch raising of these things, really horrible. But once one's got it up to pitch, doing fine adjustment, you can't do fine adjustments in the normal way with continuous movement. But the tap technique really works well. That's knocking the note into tune. I've had great problems with this because it had been allowed to go to not 440 at A, but 435. And so the pitch had been lowered. And this was actually negligence of somebody who moved the instrument and said, oh, it doesn't really need tuning, does it? No, a piano should be in tune. If it's not in tune, it's an old genre. This shouldn't be an old genre. It's a newly refurbished, superb Beckstein applied. And so this should be perfect. And a tuner had allowed it to be, oh, customers happy, that's fine. No, that's not the point. It should be perfect. Now, the idea that pitch has become too high is not particularly accurate. What has changed over the years of piano tuning is what's called the temperament. And modern piano tuning puts every note 
equally apart. This makes the music boring and people have said let's go down to 432 because that's in natural harmony of the mathematics of the hour, the second of time, of the rotation of the earth. Okay, great. And so they say, oh, because it's at a lower pitch, the sound is more relaxed. It isn't. What is not relaxed about the sound is our standard tuning, which makes all of the thirds wide and stressed. Now, this is an unequal temperament, and this is a stronger temperament than I normally use. So this isn't the perfect example of how an unequal temperament can be used subliminally to make music less stressed. But when I play this chord, which might sound ordinary, and then I play that, isn't that relaxed? And so here, instead of having one key transposed up a staircase of notes, we now have 24 keys, 12 major and 12 minor, which all have different levels of stress. Some are stressed, and that stress can be released. They're all different. We now have 24 keys to play with, to compose with as the composers used to, and choose their keys very carefully. Whoa. C, C sharp major is that D flat major. What a difference. And then we have the minors. C minor was always sad. F minor. A minor. Does that have sunshine in it? And so let's put sunshine back into the music. Forget 432, just change the temperament. <laughs>